The man convicted of killing 20-year-old Molly Tibbetts is asking for a new trial. Christian Bahena Rivera was supposed to be sentenced to life in prison yesterday for the 2018 murder of the University of Iowa student. Instead, a judge is now considering possible new evidence. The defense supports Rivera's testimony of being kidnapped and framed for her murder. Meg Oliver joins us now with more on this new twist in the case. Meg, good morning to you. Gail, good morning. This case was supposed to be done today, but now many are blindsided by the defense's new claims. They say new information from two separate witnesses could have helped their client's case, instead pointing to an alleged sex trafficking ring that may have been involved in Tibbetts and other local disappearances. Molly Tibbetts was abducted for the purposes of sex trafficking. Attorneys for Christian Bahina Rivera say two new witnesses claim a man confessed to killing Molly Tibbetts after she was abducted and held for sex trafficking at a home that could be connected to other disappearances in the area. We have information that three people have vanished out of thin air in this small rural county. After his arrest, Rivera led investigators to her body in a cornfield and told them he murdered Tibbetts. But at his trial in May, Rivera, a Mexican national, testified he was kidnapped at gunpoint by two men and forced to drive them to a rural road where he said they passed Tibbetts jogging. He claimed a man got out of his car with a knife, stabbed Tibbetts to death, and put her body in the trunk. Rivera said the men threatened to hurt his family before leaving him to dispose of her body. Molly Tibbetts was in the Molly trunk Tibbetts of your car, isn't that right? Yes. yes. And you did not tell them no, uh, what no, really no, happened, no, isn't no, that no, right? No, Correct. The jury and prosecution dismissed Rivera's claims. We, the jury, find the defendant, Christian Bahina Rivera, guilty of the crime of murder in the first degree. Both witnesses came forward to authorities during Rivera's trial, claiming the same man bragged about Tibbetts kidnapping and murder. One witness claimed the man said he and another person decided to dump her body near a Hispanic male in order to make it appear that the Hispanic male committed the crime because of the publicity surrounding her disappearance. But defense after attorneys say they were only to told about Bahena one Rivera. witness after they rested their case. The the other after the verdict. They say the witness information could bolster their defense, but prosecutors say there are differences between Rivera's testimony and the new accounts, and they disagree that her abduction could be part of a trafficking ring. There's no evidence that we're aware of that a sex trafficking house exists in Powashee County. Mitch Mortvet oversaw the Tibbetts case for the Iowa Department of Criminal Investigation. Why do you remain confident in the investigation and conviction of Rivera? The evidence that was discovered, you know, her blood was in his trunk of his vehicle. And again, the statements that he gave that all came out during trial, that's where our confidence lies. The defense noted blood tests from Rivera's trunk showed DNA from people other than Tibbetts. They are also requesting information from prosecutors on sex trafficking investigations in the region. The judge said he expects to have a decision regarding the potential evidence by the week's end. We reached out to the Tibbetts family for their reaction, but they have declined to comment. I can imagine this is very confusing and disturbing for them. Three years ago, this Sunday, Molly Tibbetts disappeared. So painful. Yeah, Meg, thank you.